So you just had your surgery today, and I wanna go over a few things to let you know what to expect, what to worry about, and what not to worry about, because it's a bit of a roller coaster. And I've seen this thousands of times, but you only have one set of eyes. So first of all, let me tell you what to expect. One is that you're gonna have a lot of bruising and swelling, and the eyes are gonna feel kind of a bit sticky and really uncomfortable to some degree. Usually, the pain is worse tonight, but gets significantly better after the first day of surgery. However, the bruising and the swelling usually gets worse for two days. So be prepared, you're gonna look your worst in about two or three days from now. And if you don't wanna tell anybody I was your surgeon during this week, I kind of appreciate it. Um, other things to expect is that you're probably gonna have some bloody tears, uh, some blurry vision, and uh, like I said, kind of tightness where the eyes just don't feel like they're kind of you know, blinking normally. And those things are fine and are normal and significantly get better. The reason for the blurry vision usually is that, you know, there's ointment that we're using that kind of blurs the vision. Uh, number two, like I said, the tears are kind of a little bit bloody, so that might make the, you not see as well. And your eyelids oftentimes are kind of really tight for the first few days and may be difficult to see out of. Now, let me tell you about what are the things that we worry about as surgeons knowing. The biggest thing is if you're actually having some bleeding that's really not coming out it's bleeding behind the eye. And so the eye ends up you know, being kind of rock hard and being, being swollen shut. If you notice rapid increases in the amount of swelling that you're having, that the skin itself is kind of rock hard, or that your vision is going down, even with the eyelid open, these are things that we wanna know immediately and that we want you to give us a call at our office number and talk to the doctor on call. To minimize swelling and bruising after surgery, we usually recommend doing cold or ice compresses for the first two to three days after your facial or eyelid procedure. You can usually just use frozen corn or peas in a Ziploc bag or an ice compress that was given to you or purchased after surgery. We typically like you to do this at minimum 20 minutes every hour while you're awake or at maximum 20 minutes on and 20 minutes off. After two to three days of cold compresses, if there is significant bruising, we recommend switching to warm compresses to help the bruising in the blood to absorb and go away. For warm compresses, you can use a towel with you know, hot water, or there are many compresses that can be put in the microwave and heated up to keep the area warm uh, for about 10 to 15 minutes multiple times a day. You may be wondering when it's safe to drive. Well, from a physical activity standpoint, driving is fine after eyelid surgery. It's more from a vision safety standpoint. Your vision is going to be significantly blurry, usually for the first few days, and so it might not be safe to hit the road. So we leave it up to you to figure out when to drive once you feel like your vision is okay. And that's usually after about three to four days.